Hello my fellow toy hobbyists. This is a video I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. It was actually requested by one of my subscribers. I'm not going to mention them by name or what their YouTube handle is because I don't know if, if they want that information disclosed. With that said, they know who they are and as you can tell what, by looking at the box, we're going to do a modern versus vintage with Tigra. Tigra, in my opinion, the coolest of all the Thundercats. I've always felt he had an edge over Lino, and I mean that in terms of strength, speed, bravery, and the fact that he actually had a superpower that was useful. He could turn invincible. Here is the Super 7 Tigra, and I gotta say, he looks pretty good great homage to to the vintage i would say the color scheme is pretty close to the vintage as well though there may be some some differences there you get that symbol the thundercat symbol looks good he does have like a brown wash like a light wash right there in the ab area and the paint is pretty clean it's it's very vibrant of course, when it comes to these modern toys, the detail will always be there. They never fail at that. Modern will always have accessories galore, and when it, come to, when it comes to the vintage, you were lucky if you got two. Now, I don't really like going over the accessories detail for detail, but I like showing you what they come with. Here's an extra head. He kind of has like a little grin to it. Here's one of the whips he does come with. It's a pretty long whip. Look at that. I don't know what you call those things at the end, but yeah, it's a, it's actually like a rope, rope material. But yeah, pretty cool. Don't really like to talk about the articulation because we know what these modern toys are capable of doing, but I do love comparing them. These Super 7 Thundercats have a Masters of the Universe classic 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 feel to them and just by looking at them side by side you can see that they have the same articulation points so these figures actually do fit in with the masters of the universe classic here's a uh, many faces and again you see the similarity in the articulation points so whatever the classics can do in terms of articulation the super seven thundercats can do the same thing so, so that's what you're going to get as far as articulation. With that said, let's go and look at his vintage counterpart. Here is vintage Tigra. And of course, the articulation points aren't there. And uh, these vintage Thundercats only have really one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. That would be in the arms, on the legs right here, and on the neck. That's it, folks. That's all you get. Yes, the modern one is cool, but the modern one cannot do this. This actually has a play feature. Look at that. You just pull this little lever back here. I got an idea. Let's have some fun. I think modern is better than vintage. Oh, yeah? Can modern do this? <laughs> just having a little fun here. But here is vintage Tigra next to uh, King Hiss. Of course, in, in when it comes to the modern toys, as far as the detail goes, they're always gonna they're always gonna be better than the vintage. Vintage Tigra looks cartoony next to any modern figure, but he's supposed to. He's a toy. He was meant to be played with. So of course, in terms of look and detail, modern modern will always win. As adult collectors, we buy them because there are, they are updated versions of our favorite characters. This version of Tigra, it really looks good and it'll look good on the shelf. When it comes to the vintage as collectors, it's nostalgia. But when we were kids, we didn't care about detail or articulation. We just wanted the character in toy form. When it comes to the vintage, these are... These are just basic, simple figures for the time. And that's not a bad thing, because as I said, for the time, this worked. The paint is good. It's not poorly done. And it looks somewhat like Tigra. 
the modern looks good and I went ahead and put that alternative head so you can get a look at what that looks like and then that close whip but if we're judging on detail and articulation modern will always win I like the modern and if we're gonna judge on nostalgia memories well that gives vintage a chance and it's for that reason that I choose vintage but what about you what do you think is better, modern or vintage? Thank you for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, get a hobby, and live life.